Shenzhen Bay Sports Center. This is women's team table tennis from last night, day four, between China and Japan. This is the gold medal match. We will start out with singles. It's Ying Fan of China versus Yuka Ishigaki of Japan. Game point here for Fan. 10 4 she leads. And a deep smash there by Ishigaki to stay in it. China would take game one. Now in game two, perhaps the best action of this match. Khan just all over the table and finally puts that one away. As you'll see here, the great forehand but huge lobbing returns from Ishigaki. And finally Khan able to finish it off and take that game. Match on up 2-1 and match point here in the fourth game. That one goes on. Nothing in this gold medal match. Now the second singles match. This is Jingwen Rao of China against Marina Matsuzawa of Japan. Game point there for Japan, and she will take it. Now 1-1. One, one. China with a much more here. That one goes wrong. It's Rao. And China now in control. In the fourth game. And Rao well, there will take it. China now up 2 0 in this gold medal final. Now with doubles. Japan needs this one and they don't get it. Khan and Rao take it to clinch gold for China. China will win gold without ever dropping a match in table tennis action.
country, China and Japan. Singles action, Jin Zhu of China against Kenji Matsumura of Japan. China up 1-0 in this match. Pretty good exchange here. Matsumura able to finish that one off to lead 8-5. for the games was men's team saber competition in fencing from the conference and exhibition center here in Shenzhen. The men's match feature perennial Luigi power Nirango. Italy taking on Ukraine. First bout saw Marco Chukerico of Italy against Ole Sturbabin of the Ukraine. Sturbabin on the right. Both touch, but the score will ultimately go to Ukraine. Shrebobin <laughs> would take his bout 5 to 2 over Trukarico. Next is Luigi Morocco of Italy and Andrei Agotka of the Ukraine. Ukraine up 9 4 and then 10 4 to finish it off. There by the Ukraine. Now 12 11 for the Ukraine. It's Dimitro Boyko on the piece. Later on, it will be Dimitro Pundik who wins his vote 5 4 to give the Ukraine a 35 26 lead. Forty-four, thirty-one. It's Andrei Agotka for the Ukraine. Oh. An attack there would end it, and the Ukraine takes the men's team saber competition here in fencing at the Shenzhen University. Italy will take silver, and Korea will claim the bronze. Night on day four of University at the Center Women's Team at A Fencing. The gold medal boat between France and the United States. We see Marie Gabrielle of France who cases them to an early lead. Into it. 
giant boats. They would trail 24-21. Here about in the early going with Susanna Scanlon and Melissa Gorham of France. And Gorham scores the point there. That was Scanlon and Laurent Rambi of France. Another point there for the French. As they would lead more or less the rope. The French coaching staff looking on. Americans there do get back into it. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. As their coach looks on as well. It would be 35-34 France late when Lyle takes on Courtney Hurley. But Hanby would go, 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 go. 10 touches to 5. And ah. France would ultimately take gold in this 45-39. American silver and oh, Russia is strong. Last night at a university out here in Shenzhen, women's 63 kilogram class weightlifting took place at the training hall of the Shenzhen Sports Center. First up is Yoon Jong Kim of North Korea, attempting 92 kilograms in her third lift. And she struggles a little bit, but able to get her legs underneath her for a clean lift. Next up is Sai Chun Ho of Chinese Taipei, attempting 94 kilograms. Her strength is actually the clean and jerk, but you see her here in the snatch, able to power that one up and over. We'll now move on to the clean and jerk portion of tonight's competition. And we're back to Kim now attempting 110 kilos. She's able to clean it. Able to get it over her head and her legs underneath her. That is a clean lift. Now Ho to try 113 on her first attempt in the clean and jerk. Good lift. And there she goes to lift cleanly at 113. She would go on to lift 117 for a total of 211, and that would be enough to give her the gold medal over Kim of North Korea. From last night on day four at Universiad, men's 85 kilogram class weightlifting took place. First up in the snatch will be Shi Chong Zhang of China, attempting 160 kilos in his second attempt. He would do it. He would ultimately lift 163 in the snatch to sit second. Renat Kiryev now of Russia attempting and cleanly lifting 165 to lead after the snap. Moving on now to the clean and jerk. Zhang's first attempt would be at 190 kilos. Trying to get the crowd into it. Struggles through the clean, but he's there. He is able to get his feet under him for a clean lift at 190 kilos. Now Kiriev. This is his second attempt at 200 kilos. Zhang ultimately would bow out at 190. Kiriev could hit this. He would win gold. And he does. That would be enough. As Renat Kiriev of Russia wins gold. Zhang of China takes the silver. Jun Ho Ryu of Korea the bronze. Men's Group B 
basketball action now from the main gymnasium of the University Ad Sports Center. This one features Serbia at 1-1 one one for me into this one against Hong Kong 0-2. Serbia looking to solidify its place into the quarterfinals. First up, it's Nikola Dragovic for Serbia, and he gets that point early with a three-pointer. Hong Kong though, would answer back as Yiplun Chen fires away from three and ties it at eight. Ivanovic who drives into the lane and able to pull the left hander in to give Serbia a 15-10 lead. Now a great behind the back look from Luka Zuta to Nikola Svetanovic and he finishes it off for Serbia. That's Dirtsa 4-3 and he'll nail that one. Serbia starts to pull away here in the second quarter. Now on the fast break, it's Mladen Jeremic who holds in with a great little layup there. Serbia now up by 29. Next, Vladimir Stimac gets in the Svetanovic miss. Serbia way ahead now, and we see there Marko Lubicic laying it in and drawing a foul. In the third quarter, tries to get something going. Impact Roy knocks down the jump shot there. Hong Kong down now 59 31. Now chewing Lee for three, and he'll nail that one. Must be the light of this full Hong Kong crowd. Now some good passing by Hong Kong will ultimately set up Chan for another three. Hong Kong able to score from downtown, but having a tough time inside. Now Sava Lesic with a little floater there in the lane. 83-41 Serbia. And Zivanovic with the acrobatic left-hander there late in the fourth. To stretch the Serbian lead. That would pretty much do it. A couple late misses here by Serbia. But Serbia will improve their record to 2-1 in Group B men's basketball action with a dominant 102-46 win over Hong Kong. Round Robin match in Group A of Team Badminton on Day 5 at the Summer University Ad. It's China versus Japan, both 2-0 with right. wins over Russia Double. and Syria. Play. First up, it's mixed doubles. China had 19-15 and up one game to none. And that forehand by Japan will go wide. China now with match point in mixed doubles. That one lands in, making it 20 to 16. But a quick yeah. return there of Japan's service will give China the opening match 2-0. Now we move into men's singles. It's Kai Wen of China versus Shou Zania of Japan. Win up 19-14, now 20-14 on that smash. Already up 1-0 in this one, so this is match point. And he attacks the net and finishes it off there as he will take it 2-0 over Zania. Next up is men's doubles. Japan needs this one to stay in this contest. China up one game to nothing in 19-14 here in the second game. one will end up in the net for Japan setting up match point and a great return of service quick move there and China will take this one to nothing they've sealed this match but we'll now head to women's singles to round it out along with women's doubles so Zhao Qin Shi of China against Haruko Suzuki of Japan Suzuki up one game to nothing and it's tied at 20 here in the second game. And a great smash there by Suzuki. Lands in, she sets up match point for herself. And a great little tip backhand there. She'll take this one to nothing. In the final contest of this match, we'll move to women's doubles. 
Japan up one game to nothing in 1912 here in the second game. And serving. Great backhand near the net. China can't return it, setting up match point for Japan. And a nice smash can't be returned by China. China will win this match three to two, but Japan wins the last two to make it a little bit closer. The Long Gong Cycling Center, it's men's four kilometer individual super track cycling. Sergei Shilov of Russia set a university had record yesterday in qualifying. Time of four minutes, 25.122 seconds. He would face teammate Artur Urshov in this final. They're underway, and in the early going, Urshov would actually have a little bit of a lead. On the favorite, Shilov. That would be quickly evaporated as by the 2,250 meter mark, Shilov is only two seconds ahead of his teammate. That lead will be the 2,750 meter mark. Shilov now in relative control as he now comes around on his final lap. There's his final time, 4 minutes 30.927 seconds, a little slower than his university had record time yesterday, but still enough for gold. First off, Sun Jae Jang of Korea, bronze. Cycling Center on day five of the games. It's women's three kilometer individual pursuit. Vilya Surakaita of Lithuania oh, and Lesia Kalatovska of Ukraine will contest this final. Surakaita set a games record yesterday in qualifying. Kaida setting another historic pace. 1,000 meter mark, she's up by just under one and a half seconds. As they near the midway mark, Sarah Kaida has built the lead to just over two seconds. She was well on her way to a gold medal. Kalatowska now three seconds back with 700 meters to go. As Sarah Kaida heads to the finish, she will actually break her Universal record of yesterday. A time of 3 minutes 36.944 seconds. Kalatowska takes silver and Savannah Galliot the bronze. This is the middle second Beach Park, women's beach volleyball action on another hot sunny day down near the water here in Shenzhen. This match on the contenders bracket side features Slovakia against Germany. Germany up 18-13, we're a tip there. Looks at it up by six. One point, Germany. Germany. Germany now back to serve. Good dig there by Slovakia to keep it alive. And that attack can't be returned by Jordan. So I can see it in this opening set now down 19. We now move to set point for Germany here in the opening set. Nice job there by Slovakia with the need to stay alive here in the opening set. 
set point again for Germany. Slovakia serving down 20 to 16. But a great dig there by Germany to keep that one alive. And this attack by Slovakia would end up in the net. Giving Germany the exact Devil elimination format. Slovakia back to serve. Yeah. And Germany able to roll that one away from the Slovakia block. Take a lead. Now 7 7. We move now to 19 13, Germany leading Slovakia. With a huge kill there for the Germans to get them to set point. Slovakia serving down 20 to 14. And the floater there lands in. And that would be all Germany needed to beat Slovakia 2-0 here in women's beach volleyball action. 